and issues that and we And let me in. give you a very simple formula for leadership because yeah, um, especially a lot of the younger people watching, they're like, how am I a leader? Yeah, I'm not a leader. I don't even know. What's, I don't even know what to have for breakfast this morning, right? Yeah. Like, how am I going to be a leader? Um, I was in the same position. I had no leadership experience at all, right? But I want to give you a very simple formula for leadership. And if you do this leadership thing, it will be easy for you to be a leader. The first thing is called rest. R E S T. Okay. Right? So the first thing is responsibility. I thought you were going to say actual rest. I was yeah, gonna say, that's, yeah really that's what everyone thinks. It's the opposite. <laughs> leadership is the opposite of rest. Yeah. But R E S T, right? Okay. R stands for responsibility. Okay. Because ultimately, that's what Professor Sam said, you're responsible. What are you responsible for? You are responsible for getting them to a destination. Mm, okay. Right? So ultimately, leadership is about taking that responsibility. There's a thing on the piece of, on the floor, I'm the one who's going to take responsibility. Or we have to get to Jannah, I'm the one who's going to take responsibility for getting us to Jannah. So the first thing is rest, R, responsibility. Right? Okay. The second thing is example. If you're a leader, you have to lead by example. If I tell you and my whole team, guys, make sure you're on time, make sure you're on time, make sure you're on time, yeah. and then I come late every time, like what kind of example does that set? And that's what happens a lot. Yeah, it does happen all the time. Lot, and right? that's why everyone comes late. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the impact of that is not the lateness or the example. The impact of that is people lose trust. Why? Mm, and respect. Yeah. Why? Because there's no integrity. Your actions and your words don't match, mm. right? So if you're a leader, you yes. have to make sure that you embody the example of the things you expect. Yes. Right? Yes. So responsibility and example. The third thing is service. Mm. Okay. You need to realize that as Muslim, our tradition is actually of following. Like leaders are not only the one that lead the way, they follow the way. Follow the way of who? They follow the way of the Prophet ﷺ. They follow the way of the scholars and the tradition. So we already have the path in front of us. We're not going to be leaders who create a new way to Jannah. Leadership yeah. is about following and following is about serving. Right? Yeah. So the, the S is actually about serving the people. And that's why there's a guy called Simon Sinek. He wrote a really good book. He said, leaders eat last. Why? Because the leader is not the guy who goes to the front of the buffet line and goes, let me eat quickly and I'm hungry. He's the one who watches his whole staff, makes sure every single person in his team has eaten. And then he goes, you know what? Now everyone's eaten. I'm going to eat now. And he's the one serving everyone. So service is the third thing. And then the T for rest is taqwa. And this embodies you doing leadership like Allah's watching you. So right now, I'm the leader, I'm in charge of everything, do it like Allah's watching you right now. Do it with sincerity, do it with all the things mm. that come with someone who is a person of taqwa. And I'm saying if you do these four things in any field, take responsibility, lead by example, be in the service of the people that you're trying to help, and then have taqwa, you're going to make an amazing leader, inshallah. I really like that, mashallah, Allah mubarak. I really, really like that, that rest is very, very easy to remember.